Hello and welcome to our rebranded stock analysis education videos brought to you by Penny Stock Analysis and PennyStockAnalysis.com. Today's section is actually the bonus to our previous stock analysis video about volume. And today's lesson will be about on balance volume. As with all of our stock analysis videos, and important to learning any new subject is to have a good foundation. And so we start off with the basics of on balance volume. So in essence, on balance volume is a type of filtered volume metric. And what it does is it helps distinguish how the volume is distributed between buyers and sellers. In other words, it's a type of momentum indicator that determines if volume or stock is flowing into buyers hands or into sellers hands. So here are some more defined characteristics of the on balance of volume technical analysis tool. The first thing you'll notice when we get to the chart on the next slide is that there is a lack of a specific number scale. In other words the slope and direction of the line are more important. You'll notice that unlike a relative strength index which is always on a scale of 0 to 100, the on balance volume chart can be from 800,000 to 10 million, or from minus 500,000 to plus 20 million. That's really not the most important aspect of the chart. The most important thing is to get the slope right. So if we move from left to right, if the line is sloping upwards, that means investors are accumulating stock. In other words, there's more buying power. And if it's moving from left to right and the line is moving downwards, that means investors are selling the stock. And so that should give you a, a pretty good idea, moving on to the next slide, of what that actually looks like and how it translates into price. Moving on to our chart. Today it is about Toro. And Toro, as you may know, if you've done any work outside or own a home, uh, is one of the largest manufacturers of uh, lawn and garden equipment and it's used at uh, almost every golf course you will ever go to and uh, they have a very good reputation. So I guess it's no surprise that on this chart we can see that the price goes from 48 to 66. But besides that there are some things that you should be aware of but are not important. Uh, unlike our typical white charts from our other provider in our past videos don't worry about the green lines that are up or the red lines which mean down. In other words, the price was up that day or the price was down that day. Same goes for the volume chart underneath it. You'll notice that on the up days, the bars are green. On down days, the volume is highlighted in red. That's not the most important thing to realize on this chart. So, moving on, we are going to talk about on balance volume, OBV, and that is the very bottom chart which is gray with the blue line. And the other thing I want to alert you of is the yellow line that kind of splits the chart in half. And this is very important because there are a couple of trends that I would like to point out. Moving from left to right on the price chart on the top, you'll notice that there is a dotted orange line. And you'll notice that the price in those four months it actually goes downwards from about, let's say, 56 to around $50. However, upon further analysis, if we look down at the on balance volume chart, we'll see that in the exact same period, the slope from left to right is actually moving upwards. There's actually an accumulation of the stock. And that's a very good sign, especially when the stock price is moving down because it means that investors are accumulating the stock, uh, meaning it, it has been perhaps undervalued or it is a good position in time to purchase the stock. So on the left of the yellow line, you see price declining, but on balance volume increasing. That's an excellent sign. And then you'll notice that to the right of the yellow line, the price absolutely takes off from about 50 bucks all the way up to 66 for a pretty healthy you know, 25% or so gain. And the other thing that corresponds with that rise is, guess what? 
unbalanced volume chart to the right of the yellow line we see that unbalanced volume continues its upward streak. So it's very important to find these trends and try and identify the mood and sentiment of investors if they think it's a good time to buy if they're gaining positions and so forth. And so we can clearly see here that in Toro moving forward uh, you know the price went down but on balance volume went up which means there's accumulation of stock and basically that continued upwards throughout the entire year until this present point where it's sitting at a very healthy $66. And now we move on to our tried and tested favorite the Ford Motor Company which we have used in uh, two of our previous stock analysis video. And the reason I've chosen this is because one, it is a little more complicated and it also highlights uh, a couple of more trends that uh, can uh, usefully be identified uh, using the on balance volume chart. So you'll notice on this particular chart there are two yellow lines and what I want you to concentrate on is the space between the two yellow lines. You will notice on the price chart that the price of Ford goes from around 11 and 12 dollars all the way up to 18. Correspondingly, if you go to the bottom, you'll see the unbalanced volume chart and you'll see a corresponding rise in the volume. In other words, buyers were more feverish, more feverish in their uh, purchase of the stock than um, sellers. And hence, as more people buy, there's more demand and price goes up. It's almost like Economics 101. The next thing I want you to concentrate on is that there is a downward uh, slope in the price that takes place to the right of the yellow line in the big circle. And what I also want you to look at is that the on-balance volume also sees a corresponding decline. In other words, sellers have uh, gained more power or are trading more feverishly than the buyers of uh, the particular stock. So in essence, what happens is, as the sellers gain more power, the price goes down. As the buyers gain more power, the price goes up. So in other words, as the slope moves upwards, as it does between the two yellow lines, it's usually corresponding to a rise in price. As the on-balance volume goes down, or slopes downward from left to right, then that means that it usually corresponds with a decrease in price which we can clearly see and is highlighted in the uh, dotted circles around the price chart on the top and the unbalanced volume chart on the bottom. So you're asking yourself why is the volume chart in the center highlighted? And here's the reason why. These are three uh, trends that all work and coincide with each other. As the price of Ford in the top in that circle moves downwards and then flattens out and moves sideways, there is, if we look at the volume bars, an increase in volume in that same time. In other words, there's resistance. And at the same time and by the same token, looking at the on-balance volume charts, we notice that there is a plateau and rising effect in the on-balance volume. So in other words, buyers at this point are willing to accumulate the stock. They are willing to buy the stock with more intensity than sellers. And hence, that's why we see uh, some more topping and upward pressure and a price moving up for Ford Motor Company. On we go to our summary for the day for our newest tool to add to our technical analysis toolbox, the on balance volume. So here are a couple of tips to remember when using this particular tool. It is a momentum indicator and is very useful to confirm trends. As we can see uh, with the previous charts, uh, it's very accurate uh, in terms of confirming uh, trends, especially with price and how much volume or how many people are buying the stock as opposed to selling it. It's not a leading indicator like the relative strength index. So it shouldn't be used to determine necessarily buying or selling points, but it can certainly uh, help you determine if there's a lot of strength in a particular movement. It should not be used as a loan analysis tool, and you will hear that uh, in all our videos and drilled on and on and on, but it's important. 
And also, this is filtered information for a specific purpose. This is to see if shares are being accumulated or sold with more intensity, which is a lot different than just a regular volume chart, which has more um, implications for larger uh, trends, uh, such as how much volume was traded over the last two weeks, which is a lot different than saying how many shares are actually being bought or sold. So in other words, if there's more volume on your regular volume chart, that's actually more of a confirming effect for the on-balance volume chart if, in fact, more people are buying or selling that stock. And with that, we are about to conclude our learning video about on-balance volume. It has been longer than usual and probably more technical uh, in nature and uh, maybe a little more difficult to understand than our previous videos, but it's necessary to become a good investor. You need to have good tools. And with that, we'd like to say thank you for joining us. We hope we hope this will lead to better returns on your investments. And goodbye from Penny Stock Analysis and PennyStockAnalysis.com.